I'm going to read you a story today. It's called Zin, 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 A Violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. And it actually is a poem. We're going to hear lots of rhymes in here. And it's about musical instruments and about numbers. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone playing is solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone, no more alone, and one and two-o, they're a duo. So one musician is playing solo, two musicians make what's called a duo. What's next? Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled. Golden yellow joins its fellows. Two, now three o. Oh, what a trio! Let's see if we can keep track. One musician plays solo. Two musicians make a duo. Three musicians are a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello, neck extended, bows a hello. End pin set upon the floor. It makes up a quartet. That's four. So, solo, duo, trio, and four playing together are called a quartet. Sounds a little like quarter, because four quarters make one whole dollar. So, four. And soaring high and moving in with zin, 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 a violin. Stroking strings that come alive. Now, quintet. Let's count them. Five. So five musicians are a quintet. What's one? Solo. Two. Duo. Three. Trio. Four. Quartet. And five. Quintet. Flute that sends our soul a shiver. Flute that slender, silver sliver. A place among the set it picks to make a young sextet that six. So now we're up to six. Sextet is six. Solo, duo, Trio, quartet, quintet, and now sextet. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet is number seven. Now, Septet. Oh boy, you think you're able to keep track? Come on, let's do it again. Ready? Solo. Duo. Trio. Quartet. 
quintet. Now what about six? Sextet. And what about seven? We just did septet. Gleeful, bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing double reading, oboe, please don't hesitate, come make it an octet. That's eight. Come on, let's do it again now. Let's see if you're remembering the musical terms for the people playing together. So one is solo, two is a duo, three, trio, four, quartet, five, quintet, six, sextet, seven, septet, and we just did eight. Octet. Didn't know we'd be doing some music work today, did you? That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down. We're laughing soon. Here, grumpy, get your place in line and give us a no net. That's nine. No net. Or maybe it's pronounced nonet. We're going to have to look that up. Nonet or nonet. So that's nine. Solo, duo, trio, quartet, quintet, six, over six, sextet, septet, octet. No net or non net. <laughs> the harp descends with angels' wings, a heavens blend through magic strings, and when it joins the others, then behold a chamber group of ten. So these ten musicians, it's called a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage. We see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet. The trumpet, whom we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon. All eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin. All poised and ready. Now begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly and the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come back and play once more. When you go to an orchestra type of concert and it's over and you clap, you can yell encore, encore, and it means you want more. You want them to play again. You liked it so much. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night. I would play that music in our classroom all the time, and you probably hear it now, too, while I'm reading you the stories.
Now this was just story time, but if any of these musical instruments interested you and you want to look up some information about them, how they're made, or try to listen to each sound of them, you can always replay the video and write down the name of that instrument and find some information out about it and feel free to share that with me. And if not, that's okay. I hope you just enjoyed the story and the music.